Do you run a business but don't understand all the technical jargon? Do you understand the difference between your domain name, your email address, and your website address, and how they are connected? I've seen so many business owners use words that they don't understand, and then they create messes for themselves because they don't understand what all these words mean. In addition, most business owners want to streamline their business systems and the number of companies that they are paying for various services, but they end up paying more companies than necessary because they don't know better and don't do their research ahead of time. How many companies are you paying to connect each of these systems? And when was the last time you logged into each of them? Do you even have the passwords and logins? I hope so. Your domain name, your email system, and website are connected in very important ways and should ideally be set up thoughtfully. In addition, your website, website platform, and website host need to be connected thoughtfully as well. If you don't know what you're doing when you set up these systems, you can get into some very sticky situations. In this video, I will explain each of these vocabulary words and their meaning, some examples and details about each, how they are connected, how to streamline your systems, and stick around to the end so you know what order to create them. Your domain name is your business identity. Email, we know, is used to communicate with each other, but it is also the foundation of your business system that you choose to use, which includes many other apps. Your website is your business internet address where people can find you on the internet. For example, your domain name is xyz.com. Your email is your name at xyz.com. And your website is www.xyz.com. Some details about each one of these. Your domain name needs to be paid for annually as long as your business is in existence. Otherwise, your email and your website will not work. Your email is only one piece of a larger business system, such as Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. You should pick your email system carefully because it comes with more than just one app. In order to create a website, you need to choose a platform and a host and connect it to your domain name. So you need to choose these things carefully. In order to create a website, you need a builder or a platform. You need a host to host the data. You need to connect all of that to your domain name so that you can have a published website on the internet where people can find you. There are many examples of builders and platforms, hosts, places to purchase a domain name, and all of those things go together to create your website. You need to have a builder or platform that you can use or pay somebody else to use. You need to have all of this data hosted. It needs to be connected to your domain name, which is separately connected to your email system as well. And then you can publish your website on the internet. The point here is that you need to do your research before you choose these systems to use and the companies to go with, because many business owners want to streamline these so you don't want to have five systems when you could just choose two or three places to log in. Places where you could purchase a domain name include companies such as Squarespace, Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, HostGator, and more. Email systems generally include Google Workspace, plus a whole bunch of other apps, or Microsoft 365, plus the apps that come with that. There are also other email providers that are separate. When you go to create your website, you need to choose a platform such as Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, Weebly, Google Sites, or others. And again, many of these same companies can be your website host, but again, you need to do some research. Your goal in choosing your business systems should be to combine as many of these items as possible into as few systems as possible so that you are streamlined and have fewer logins and passwords to keep track of. One example would be if you wanted to use Google Workspace as your email and business systems, then you could also create your website on Google Sites, host it in your Google Drive, and purchase your domain name from Squarespace. Another example is if you'd like to use Google Workspace as your email and business systems, 
Then you could purchase your domain name from Squarespace, use Squarespace as your website platform, and Squarespace as your website host. Another example is if you'd like to use Google Workspace as your email system and business systems, you could choose Bluehost to purchase your domain name and host your website, and then use WordPress as your platform for your website. Last example is that if you would like to use Microsoft 365 email and business system, then you could purchase your domain name through GoDaddy, use WordPress as your website, have your website hosted in GoDaddy, and get your email system purchased through GoDaddy as well. A very common question that I get all the time is, can I buy my domain name from GoDaddy and still use Google Workspace for my email and business system? The answer is yes, but. If your goal is Google Workspace and you choose to purchase your domain name through GoDaddy, you can, but be very careful because if you just click, yes, I want an email through GoDaddy, you will automatically get a Microsoft 365 email address and therefore not be able to connect to Google Workspace because your domain name is already tied up with a Microsoft 365 email. Therefore, if you would like to use Google Workspace and have already purchased your domain name from GoDaddy, just simply say, no, I do not want an email address through GoDaddy. And then I can still help you connect your Google Workspace email system to your domain hosted at GoDaddy. The last thing that is extremely important is in which order to create these systems. Because everything that you do connects to your domain name, that is the first and foremost item of business when starting your business. But before you do that, please research domain names first, which is a whole separate video and discussion. So first, you're going to research domain names that are appropriate for you and your business. Then you're going to decide on a domain name that is available. Then you are going to research companies from which to buy your domain name, maybe also an email account, maybe also a website platform and hosting so that you're combining systems. Then you are going to choose as few companies as possible for the services that you prefer and desire so that you can streamline your logins. And then you are going to finally buy your domain name from an appropriate company. Next, you need to purchase your email account and business system that go together. So you're going to decide on an email and business system that is appropriate for you and your company and your employees, ideally one that you already know how to use. Then you're going to purchase your new email and business system, such as Google Workspace. You're going to connect it to your domain name that you've already purchased. And then you're going to activate your email address so that you have a functioning email address to work with. For your business. Next is creating your website. And you again need to do some research to finalize your preferred website builder platform and host and choose appropriately based on your previous research. Then you are going to log in, pay for, and create your website in that one or two systems. You're going to connect your website to your domain name wherever you purchased that. And finally, publish your website to the internet so people can find you there. To review, in this video, I have gone over five vocabulary words and their meanings, examples and details about those technical words, how those five things are connected, how to streamline your systems, and in what order to create these things. Your domain name is xyz.com, which is your business identity. Your email is going to be your name at xyz.com and should be associated with an appropriate business system that you want to use. Finally, you're going to create your website on a platform that you like and you are con connected to your domain name and publish it to the internet so people can find you at www.xyz.com. Please be sure to think about this website on a platter, streamlining your business systems, so that you have as few logins as possible. And please make sure to create these in the correct order. Number one, domain. Number two, email system. And number three, website. If you are interested in my help with any of these or having a conversation about which systems are best for you and your business, I'd be happy to talk with you on a clarity call. 
I look forward to helping you succeed. Mm-hmm.